I mean, will you look at that? No, that's, that's... Look at this section over here by the door. Yeah, this is uh, properly dried out and dead. Apart from apparently this one, so clearly I somehow missed that because some of the leaves are dead on it. So it works on the big stuff and the smaller stuff, but obviously if you do this on a regular basis, it's going to be much better at just the small bits. This stuff is not quite as deaded. Okay, well that means I can burn some of the stuff out so that I need to get gone quickly because it's nice and dry and I can get the jet wash out. Well, you can see the difference. So let's get to it. I would say that's a pretty reasonable difference that can be seen pretty quickly and I think that'll be lovely when it's all finished so I better get on with it.
officially been quite a lot of work, but I like the results so far. So you can definitely see the colour change in the patio slabs here. And the weed killer has done its job. And look how light the railings have all become, balustrades. Now it's dried after getting a decent jet wash. So that's just fantastic. The pots are a nice light colour, the balustrade, the stonework is all a nice colour. Everything's been cleaned, ready to paint. <clears throat> what I do have to do <clears throat> is this corner over there, apart from painting everything and very little bits and pieces, I've left the ivy over there for a minute because that had weed killer on it and I want that to carry on working a little bit better because ivy is a lot harder to kill and that needs to just dry out a little bit more because it'll make it easier to pull tomorrow. Even the statues are all a nice light colour. Steps aren't slippy. The cobbles down here are getting done at a later stage. We're going to pull all that lot. Well, I'll weed killer first, but I'm leaving the daisies for a minute because it's that time of year. The bees are first out, so they can get the pollen from that. Then they'll go, and then the cobbles underneath will get pointed, so we don't have that problem ever again. But it's all starting to come together. So now I'm covered in muck. Soaking wet, a bit tired, it's time for a shower, other than the one I've just had all day. And I'll see you all tomorrow, and hopefully, with a bit of luck, Ivy can go tomorrow, last the jet washing, paints and stuff, and maybe, just maybe, might get the terrace near enough done. Which might keep me on schedule. Never know, fingers crossed. Thanks for watching, see you next time.